Hi, I'm Louie from LCD Heating and Gas Services. This is just a very quick video on boiler servicing. I'm not going to show you how to service a boiler, really what it is, what to look out for to make sure that whoever you get to service your boiler is doing it right. There's too many guys, big companies included, they come, they stick their machine in your flue up here. By the way, this is a practice boiler for the apprentices, so there's no pipes and there's a few bits missing but I'll give you the general gist. They put in the machines, take a reading, go away, in and out of the house within 15 minutes. That is not a proper service, and you're probably paying for a proper service. What you've got to remember is each manufacturer is different. Some manufacturers ask you to do different checks and do different visual inspections. For example, this is a Booster Bosch, and part of their servicing is pretty simple. You've got to check fan pressures, recheck the inlet pressure to make sure it's not under gas, and you clean out the siphon, which is in here. As you can imagine, normally your boiler's got a cover on it, so if you're getting your boiler serviced and they don't even take the cover off, regardless of the manufacturer, that's not getting done right. Even with a one-year-old boiler, which Booster is one of the simplest ones for us to service, we have to take off the cover, Check our readings here, check here, clean out the siphon which is within the boiler and obviously check all fluid readings are acceptable. So as I say, every boiler manufacturer is different, so you may have an ideal or a back say or whatever it is, they'll ask for different checks and different things to get done. So this is just a video to let you know that make sure that when you're getting your boiler serviced, it's very easy to tick a box and think that you're getting a service. A lot of times you're not. A lot of times all you're getting is make sure that the flue in the boiler's actually burning safely. That's all you're checking. You're not checking if there's any rust, any leaks, or anything else. Right, thanks very much.